Hi Gemini, this is your December 2016 tarot reading. And today we are going to use the Rock and Roll Tarot by Vicki Verley. She has a YouTube channel and I did a review on this that I'm posting. So be sure to check that out. Um, I really, really like this deck and I'll show you why. Okay, so see the two of wands here? See how it is the words? Okay, so if I'm doing a general reading for all of you guys and um, you know I see aligned but you someone out there is picking heavy up on partnership like that jumps out then it kind of expands the I like them for general readings because it can expand you know the message for a bigger group of people I think you can get more out of it so I really really enjoy these we're gonna be picking three of these and then we're going to be using our archetype cards. I've used these before. And these are all our personality traits that, you know, we deal with. Or the type of person we are, what we're emotionally going through, what we're thinking, feeling, and acting on. So um, we're going to pick one. And it's going to kind of be like the fragrance of your month. Okay? And I'm going to do that right now. And we're going to get started. Okay. Give it a good shuffle. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> okay, you got visionary. All right, so I'm going to read this to you. Okay. It says, now it has light attributes and dark attributes. So this is like, if it's coming up for you positively this month, it's going to be in the realm of this up here. And if it's negative... It's going to be kind of like what they say here. But if it's down here, you can get it up here. Okay, and we'll talk about that. So yours is visionary. Light attributes. Capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others. Willingness to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain. So maybe you're going to have a breakthrough this month maybe. Okay, you might have a really, really great idea that just spurs you this month, you know, that kick in the gut, and it's like, you know, you have to do it, or you know, you have to talk about it, or you know, you have to teach it, whatever it is for you, or try it at work, or a new technique, or you guys are like the inventors of the Zodiac anyway, so... If you have the negative, if it's coming up negatively for you, it says selling insights to the highest bidder, compromising your vision to make it more acceptable. So this is kind of like, maybe you're having a bright idea, but you don't know how others, so you're like basically working out of fear. You don't know how others are going to receive it. So you water it down. Don't water it down. Okay. So keep this in mind that this is the fragrance of your month. That's how I want you to think of it energetically. Because it's going to influence the three cards we pick, okay? Which I'll do right now. And the first position that we're going to do is physical. So it's going to be what's going on in the world around you. What, you know, what's your environment? What's physically happening? What's going on, you know? Um, what you're doing. And we got the four of rods here. And the second card that we're going to pick is your mental and emotional card. How you're going to be feeling, what you're going to be thinking, you know, because those two are very closely linked, in my opinion. So, this is what I'm got here. So, we have the Nine of Swords there. And the third card is going to be your spiritual card and not meaning religious or not meaning I mean it could encompass that okay for some of you but it's gonna be more like your what level your you know we, we all go up in tiny little increments all the time little ascensions 
and uh, we got the Three of Pentacles. Let me move these over a little bit. Okay. All right. So this is like where we're where we're at spiritually, where we're the lessons we need to learn, the you know, the truth we need to you know, hear for ourselves maybe, or allow ourselves to hear. Um, and so this is what's going on. This is like what's going on with who you are in the grand scheme of things. This is what's going on in your head. And this is what's going on physically around you. Okay. So Gemini, for the four of rods, we have, um, you could, you could be going in your physical surroundings, it could be going into a really good time in your home. Okay. This could be a time maybe you're the host for whatever holiday you celebrate. Or maybe you just like getting together. You go to other people's things, but it's a lot of celebration. And maybe this year you're going to be the one hosting. And it's really, really a good card for um, being in tune and in harmony with your mate or with your um, very, very close family that lives in your home. Uh, you can move in with, be moving in with somebody. For those of you who are single and living separately, maybe, you know, or um, not single but living separately, maybe you guys could be making the dive this month. Maybe uh, you're deciding that you just you're just now it's coming up that you're deciding to do that okay so maybe you haven't voiced that opinion yet or maybe you're thinking about it but this might be your confirmation that it's it's okay it's a go it seems like it'll be happy okay because I see happiness there and um fours also are foundation so you it's going to be something that will last okay something that can be built upon i won't say will last because <clears throat> many things happen that will last that don't that could okay so i will say that it's something that is able to be built on it's a good foundation okay it's something with good bones a good start all right and then let's go to your inside your head Gemini. Those heads. You guys have to forgive me. I think I'm getting like a sinus infection or something. Um, all right. So we have sorrow. Look at this card. Isn't it beautiful? I love how she kept the artwork original, but it's, see, this is why I turn the camera around. It, I'm going to use these a lot and it's really good for you guys to be, you really need to see it, you know, so holding it up, it just doesn't cut it. You got to be able to get a good view. So in your head, this is like insomnia to me, this card. This is like regret. Um, it says sorrow, anguish, and crisis. Sob. Um, I feel like it's insomnia because you got your wheels are turning okay for some of you for some of you I feel like this could really be like you feel like you're having like it's a tip of the peak of something for you like you're not sleeping right you might not be eating right you might be so far in your head or seasonal depression for some of you you know it's, see the background is very light, it's very icy blue, okay? Um, to me, that's like if you look out a window and, you know, this time of year where it's starting to get cold, it's not too bad here, I don't know about you guys, but in some places it's already very, very cold and this to me just is like, look it, they're not relaxed, they're not laying down, they can't lay down. And it's a very flat, streamlined. So it's like to lay down would be discomfort and 
all these swords represent an issue. All these swords represent thoughts that are like cutting on the way in and on the way out and that's what's going through your head. And swords represent um, air which represents thoughts, okay? So these are like, you might be having either some repetitive thoughts, okay? And, or you, you may have, your schedule may have been completely turned. So if you guys are working like an opposite schedule, you know, that could be getting to you, but it looks like it's coming to an end because we're at the nine here. But for some of you, you need to get, you might need to get like some kind of like stay up a whole day, you know, and then go to bed at a normal time to reset your clock. But you know, don't let things bother you to the point where it's keeping you up at night because that's what I'm really feeling is going on here. Or this idea, this invention, this breakthrough. Remember? I'll hold that so you can see. Okay. This, you, you could be doing something that would help a lot of people or you can be doing something that would be like a breakthrough for you personally, okay? Or both. So with this card being in the in the shadow, I really feel like this card is kind of like you're trying to figure it out. It's like steam, the wheels are turning, you know, there's a lot of um uh it's like, it's like your wheels are spinning, but there's not forward movement yet, you know? And I feel like once you, that nine goes from the 10, it's going to be like that. It's going to be, um, it's going to go full steam ahead, you know, real quick. Cause you're going to finally have the breakthrough, finally get the idea. But if you're in the negative part of that visionary card, you are not going to get the clarity or the, I don't want to say clarity, but I want to say like the... bravery okay to move forward the way you really want it to be because I feel like if you do it a different way what well, like this says okay selling insights to the highest bidder compromising your vision to make it more acceptable it's it's like you come up with like say a TV show for instance and then um they like you give them a pilot and they like it but they want you to change the characters and change you know and it pretty soon it's picked apart and sewn back together until you, it's unrecognizable it's like don't do that cuz you'll regret it more than not doing it at all you know but don't not do it's also saying you know go forward because this is just the end of of once you get the breakthrough idea once you're you get out of your head and you let your creative energies flow um, and you kind of like maybe you need a sounding board I feel like with some of you you might need to bounce your ideas off of somebody or something you know like uh, off of maybe um, statistically what's happened before with you or you know what's your numbers for those of you who are in finance or anything like that you know you might have something that is a, you know, you have to check the risks. But once that breaks through, you're going to feel really, really good. And really connected to what you're doing and your thoughts are going to chill and your sleep is going to come back. Okay? Spiritually, we have the three of pentacles. Okay? So, this is higher learning. This is um, growing your mind, growing your ideas, growing your um, spirit. This is in your spirituality. So, it would be growing, you know, learning something new. I feel like this time it's reading. This time it's really books. I don't see books on here. I do see school. Build tools and apprentice. Yeah. 
but I'm seeing books. Like, I feel like you're going to learn, it, this is a month where maybe a lot of you are going to crawl up with a good book. Or maybe this idea that you have here and here is going to be some somewhat challenging and you're going to have to, that's what you're doing all night, all the time with this, is you're constantly trying to learn how to have that breakthrough, how to get, you know, figure it out. And maybe, you know, you'll be reading a lot and that'll, that will, it's kind of like intertwined. What you're going to be doing might be, um, like your form of therapy or, you know, like this might be your, your thing, whatever this is for you, if this is your job for some of you, but I feel like maybe some of you could be inventing something or figuring something out or a long awaited project is finally going to be over and you're not going to have to worry as much after that because I feel like this is a lot of worry and here it's kind of like maybe you're going to teach it to others or maybe you need to learn something more yourself before you can implement your idea. Okay, so, the, or, or maybe you got the idea and you know how to do it, but you've never done it before, but you know somebody who knows how to do it. So you're going to be coming and saying, hey, you want to come over and you want to help me? And they're going to be like, yeah, so you're going to learn from somebody else, hands on. This is, um, you know, somebody might give you a book to learn something, but. For some of you, this is good. you're gonna say, okay, hey, I got this great idea. What do you think about helping me do this? And then someone who knows how to maybe build or use tools, okay, is gonna school you. <laughs> okay, so that's your reading, and I hope you have a wonderful month of December. Bye bye.